Make sure to subscribe as I try and move the channel towards 40,000. A couple of days ago, I covered a startup called Global Airlines, which has attracted a lot of interest for good and bad reasons. Now, following with that theme, Boom Supersonic arrives, a company you may have heard of, but if not, they want to return supersonic travel to the aviation industry by the end of this decade with what they call Overture, a supersonic plane capable of slashing times between cities, the perfect aircraft labelled for business meetings, quick visits, or something in between. And what you could probably say is our first real look at supersonic flight since Concorde existed within the industry. But there's a lot wrong with such a premise that continues to be ignored and prevents the company from lifting off. What is the current outlook of the company? What's wrong? And what is next? Boom Supersonic is a company based out of America, and backed by the CEO, Blake Scholl, who is also one of the founders. They intend to release a supersonic aircraft, Overture, to be flying with passengers on board by 2029. Thus far, it has announced a host of strategic partnerships, and it has begun building a site in Greensboro, North Carolina. But it has been far from smooth sailing for the company, with countless issues impacting it. I briefly touched on those strategic relationships, so let's dive into that first. Recent years for Boom Supersonic have undoubtedly been filled with consistent announcements of new partnerships for the future of Boom Supersonic and its overture, whether this is to eventually build the aircraft or general partnerships for the broader brand. Partnerships have entered the double digits with every noteworthy air show or busy weekend in aviation largely filled with Boom Supersonic's new collaborations being revealed. However, as many have highlighted, these announcements have often deflected from more pressing concerns. Take the XB1 demonstrator, or labelled Baby Boom as the perfect example. As the name suggests, this aircraft was intended as an early conception to be a Baby Boom supersonic aircraft based on Overture and would undergo critical tests as early as 2017 in helping the pathway to certification of the main aircraft. However, every year that it has been confirmed that the unit would fly, it's missed those test flights. It may now finally be inching closer to it actually getting airborne following an experimental airworthiness certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration. And while delays can happen within the industry, six plus years certainly highlights the challenges that lay ahead for a full scale aircraft. What about certification though? I briefly touched on the XB1's experimental airworthiness certificate, but for Boom Supersonic to certify the main overture, it ultimately does need an aircraft, and progression is occurring with a factory to build the plane ongoing. However, the company has equally been criticised for maybe its relaxed approach and challenges it's likely to face. Boom has promised many things for Overture to make this one of the most efficient and greenest aircraft released. However, all these promises come with equal challenges in obtaining a final certification for a company that is ultimately unproven. I really also wanted to gloss over the specification changes that have occurred to Overture through the years. In 2022, it underwent a massive design change. I don't even know if I'd call it a design change, more like a redevelopment. It won the hearts of enthusiasts for its flashy design. However, what it also did do was add an extra engine and other major adjustments, which saw many people question the direction and existing customers' stance on an aircraft that they committed to at a time that looked entirely different to what it now is revealed to be. According to Boom Supersonic though, the refined design had been years in the making and was proposed to help the plane maker reach an end goal, which would be that certification and getting airborne. They believe the redeveloped overture is what will lead them in a positive direction. However, the design change was highly criticised, coming from analysts that believe this is a program that will just never fly. It's a pipe dream that is not achievable. What about the market demand? Obviously a very important thing to consider for a plane like this. Boom says there is a supersonic travel market and that it can solve many ongoing issues. Is part of this true? Yes, however, as per analysis, the actual visible demand for a supersonic airliner may not be as big as Boom is making out. Would it be a thrill? Certainly. Who wouldn't want to fly supersonic? However, with every ticket likely needing to be sold by the respective airline operating for a business or higher level airfare, going against the $100 a seat claim by the company's CEO, it would be very much targeted at a specific 
type of passenger, as those airfares for most of us are completely out of reach. It does largely cut out also your everyday traveller. You can then stack up the experience and value for money. That will only come down to you, but if I paint a picture and say you could save a few hours for a higher price, or have a couple more hours and get a lie flat bed. Is that worth it, or would you rather get there sooner? It may be a novelty, but is it truly practical? All things to consider, and depends on the target market that Boom Supersonic is looking to hit. But if they want to be a resounding success, they can't limit themselves to one specific market, as orders will remain low. The company has been thus far pretty lucky to attract firm interest from airlines worldwide, specifically within the United States. It has American Airlines and United Airlines that have both committed to Overture, which has been very noteworthy and was published around the globe. However, looking under the surface allows us to understand that while publicly not ever revealed, entering into a firm contract with a company that remains unproven and has never built a life-size commercial airliner, let alone flown one and is consistently missing deadlines, changing designs, would be a pretty silly decision. These contracts will have multiple outs for the company in question. These could be related to production deadlines not being met on Boom's part, certification, slipping, and so much more for that plane maker to consider. But why does ordering or announcing an order for the aircraft actually be pretty good for both companies? Something to consider is for Boom, it allows investor money to continue coming in and highlights that there is interest and further airlines would look to potentially commit to a plane if it was complete. While the current interest is far less than what Boom is claiming for, for the airlines, Overture is based on eco-friendly specifications, so it makes it seem for these respective carriers that they're looking towards the future and looking to be environmentally friendly. What is that? PR at best, which is also seen in trends of smaller aircraft operated by batteries. Do these have more legitimacy? Absolutely. Will the airlines fly it? Well, that's up for debate, and the respective manufacturers that are building this may incur costs or issues that prevent it from moving forward in the right direction. But it is a low-risk deal, with likely ways to exit the contract, that for both companies is a bit of a win-win. Boom Supersonic is ambitious, and in my eyes, you do have to give them that as a company for what they're trying to work towards. Absolutely fascinating, and could be a substantial leap in how we fly, following Concorde's disappearance. But there are equal and very much valid concerns based on all discussed and much more. I didn't touch on engines, economics, costs, and I only briefly took a look at demand. Analysts say the company won't ever get Overture off the ground. And analysts also say that money is key for Overture, and they don't have enough to produce the plane at a rate required to be successful. Investor money is also crucial, and strategic partnerships highlight progression even if there may not be any end substance. Will Overture fly? That is the biggest question when talking about Boom Supersonic, and something I'd love to hear your thoughts about down below in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see future analysis on any other aircraft, you can let me know down below in the comments. And flight, and we'll fly.